Cancer, this is your reading. Excuse the hair. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning, so I'm not going to have some readings. But yeah, Cancer, this is going to be your Astro Lecture Episode 2. It's been a while since I did some readings. Tense, Cancer. It's been a while since I've done some readings, so I figured why not knock some, uh, some Astro Lectures out for you guys this evening. I just did Pisces. So... Energy still flowing, a little bit water signs. Hopefully and manifesting properly. Keeping your emotions in check. You know, that, that water, that emotion. Something that um, we're still trying to figure out, right? The emotional intelligence of the community, of the collective. The cancer has very, uh, very native, very motherly energy, so... I think you're good and well enough to take care of yourself and the people around you, right? <laughs> so grounding you today, we have um, wanting to get mental clarity. There's a blockage. Could be wanting to travel or take a cruise. Deciding between two different destinations. Maybe there's something going on at night as well. You see the moon in the background? Again, her eyes are bound, so it's something that you don't have foresight about or something that you're trying to make a, a decision about. Her arms are crossed in front of her, even though she doesn't have any chains on her arms or she's not bound, she can actually take the, the thing off her eyes so she is able to gain enlightenment. She's just stuck for whatever reason. Maybe even confound to a chair or confound to a bed. Hopefully not a hospital bed. Hopefully this isn't sickness. Let's pull more cards. But what's grounding you today is needing to get more clarity, Cancer. Needing to make a decision. Maybe a move. Cancers are about uh, movement. The chariot card, major arcana. So you could be making a decision, uh, make a decision in regards to traveling. Again, I'm thinking water, Cancer, emotions with... Her sitting there in front of a computer trying to make decisions or travel plans. Could be a masculine as well, overseas. Or it could just be a cruise or vacation. Wow, the chariot. <laughs> so, again... Um, Making a decision to, yeah, get some movement going. Yeah, you don't want to stay stagnant. The more stagnant you are, the the more that energy fades away. The more time passes, the more things slip out of your hands. Make a decision to move forward. Choose a path or choose an option and just go for it. <laughs> Again, not even knowing this card was going to come up. Uh, I was thinking about the chariot card. Cancer, this is your card, so you're standing in your divine power. Keep going. Keep transforming. Keep envisioning and doing the best that you can. Um, cancers love to follow the lights. So bright lights, big city, inner city. If you are if you have goals that you want to obtain, uh, there's two options here. You can either go towards, um, you know, the major cities or make major moves and things like that in regards to... Um, Going out where there's like major commodities or the reverse, a cancer in order to um, some people ground themselves in different ways. You know, uh, a animal that has a shell or an exoskeleton, they're very uh, to themselves. They're very uh, they protect themselves. So with this cancer, I would say, you know, just be adventurous. Um, seek out the things that you want to attract. You know, there's those two options again. You can go in either direction. You can go toward the people or you can get away from the people and focus on mastering yourself and um, um, going, going, going where? You're going somewhere. <laughs> there's a lot of yellow here. There's a lot of gold. So definitely confident. I'm glad to see you standing in... Uh, Standing in truth in your reading. So that's good, Cancer. Again, making making a decision, making op, um, 
you have options here. I don't know how many options you have, but you definitely <laughs> you have two of swords and you have two of pentacles. I hope this is jail. I hope this is not jail. How are you bound mentally and bound physically or in some type of uh, balancing act? Could be a DJ. Someone feels like they're stuck at their job. Are you feel like you stuck at your job and you want to <laughs> leave or uh, take a vacation? Maybe your job is taking vacations. Let's pull more cards. This is an interesting reading. All right, Cancer. Yeah, moving. There's a lot of movement here. These are this is these are two movement cards. This is your card. Cancer is all about the chariot. If you if you know what a chariot is, it's about movement. That's what they used to use back in the days, and not cars. Imagine I ninety five, a bunch of chariots going up and down I ninety five. But yeah, this is your card, Cancer. Um, there's always a time and a place to reveal yourself to people. But yeah, this is another card about movement, taking action. Fire is all about um, uh, doing, um, all about the things that you love. That's not the same as Two of Wands, which was in uh, Pisces' reading. Them needing to make a decision to move forward. This is you making a decision and moving forward. Three of Wands. In regards to the things that you love. Again, maybe needing to take a vacation. The lover's card. So either a soulmate or something that you've um, been wanting to do your entire life. Something that you wanted to knock off your bucket list. Something that brings uh, emotional fulfillment. Very high quality... Um, like, I'm getting very good energy from this. The only thing is that you need to make a decision in regards to moving forward uh, in, um, in life. I mean, it could just be slow moving. You know, cancers are slow moving. You guys have to uh, ground yourself in your emotions. Um, and you're kind of uh, timid as well. Um, but there's a lot of strength there. Uh, if anyone knows how to balance themselves emotionally, it's going to be cancer. But yeah, a lot of good energy here. The lover's card. I can't remember um, which astrology sign aligns with the major arcana, the lovers. This could be a soulmate as well, moving towards a soulmate or moving towards the love of your life or the person that you want to be with. Or again, it could be a project or just, again, traveling, things that you want to do. Me, myself, I want to uh, get to traveling this year. The summer's coming up. So again, for me as well, my um, sun sign is Libra, my moon sign is Aries, and my rising sign is Cancer. So I have a lot of magic there, baby girl, baby boy. So this is my card as well. And I do have thoughts of traveling, making the decision to travel. I'm balancing things out. There's coin here as well, balancing out finances. And, you know, I've already have a thought out plan, and I'm taking action towards, uh, you know, that whole plan. So that's my whole... Uh, story in this as well, you know, leaving or coming in contact with different divine uh, partners and uh, counterparts and things like that. I'm attracted to very unique people, so I want to get out and meet very unique people. Um, pull some more cards for you, Cancer, before I close this reading out. Very good reading for you. The Justice card, <laughs> um, which is me. Again, I just said my sun sign is Libra, so that's me as well. But the justice could be could be you making the right decision. Decisions that you needing to make, you're gonna be making the right decisions uh, to move into all this gold here, move into all this, all this thing, all this here. Take a closer look to this card. He's very confident, though. That's kind of like how I lean up against walls <laughs> with one hand. But, um, yeah, you're going to get justice. You're going to be able to make the right decision. Um, all the right things are going to be thought out. All the right plans are going to be laid out. You're going to be able to communicate with all the right people. You may even... Um, you may even receive some type of abundance to help you balance things out. 
It could be money, time, uh, additional help from people around you to help uh, to help you manage things. Again, red is a very powerful color. It's almost as divine as uh, yellow or gold. You see the crown on top of the head. I had to explain to Pisces, who uh, people uh, believe Pisces was, uh, I mean, Jesus Christ was a Pisces as well. So I had to explain to them in a the past reading, when you see the crown or when you see a halo over an angel's head or when you see horns on the devil's head, we perceive uh, good and evil, even life and death in certain ways that sometimes we're not even able to understand fully. You think scientists really can explain everything that goes on in the world or a spiritual leader can explain everything that goes on in the world? You know how hard Jesus tried to explain things to people? He still got his justice at the end of the day anyways. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure you are, you know, keep standing in your truth. There's not much you need to really change here. I see good things coming. You're making all the right decisions and making all the right moves. Cancer. <laughs> um, last message. Could be dealing with the Libra. Or any air sign for that matter. We also have fire here. Not so much. It just seems like you're taking action. But there's a lot of water and air here. Yeah, like you can't make any of the wrong moves. You're divided. You're guided by spirit here. You see the spirit angel or the earth angel in the background with all the yellow and the wings that's guiding you and the people around you to make all the right moves. strength leo card it's funny i just did a facebook post before i started this reading and i looked at a capture and the first word that i took out of this giant capture was uh strength uh breakthrough and it was something else i can't remember but it's funny to see it <laughs> 12 minutes later 12 12 i just saw it on a timer so it's time to end this reading so your brothers and sisters don't get upset that i'm doing extra long <laughs> readings for them <laughs> another reason why i didn't want to do independent astro signs man the egos but i love it so you could be dealing with the leo as well but you definitely have a lot of determination and a lot of strength here you see the infinity sign on top another you know me explaining uh, crowns and horns and halos and the infinity symbol, another alchemic, very powerful alchemic symbol at the top of this person's head. They're guided by spirit. Again, of course, you see the earth angel behind them. You see the spirit here. This is a spirit animal, someone that can talk to spirits, someone that talks to animals. Not necessarily you have to talk to them, but you notice the details and things. You have strength in mind. You have strength in the, of emotion, Cancer. So keep uh, standing your true, authentic self and make sure um, getting the best out of your energies. And that's all. Um, you know, Check out the other readings if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and finish out this evening with Scorpio. Um, social media pages, uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, OU Lucy, Cash App, Black Tonio. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Be safe, Cancer.